Today is the first day of a new job. Very exciting, a bit scared. I am now in Berlin. Don't worry, I'm still in my bedroom, which makes it feel as if nothing really has changed. And I am starting my new job, but does anyone know? Does anyone care? Am I talking to the people from the new job? No, not yet. Hopefully that will come at some point this week. I I'm just going to pretend that I am actually a very professional remote postdoc that people are definitely aware of starts now. <laughs> Um, first thing on the job, I know nothing about the topic. I mean, nothing is a bit of an exaggeration, but very little. So, how do you start a new job, a new project, a good literature study? Do you think I went overboard? This is some of the stuff that I think I should read. This is quite a lot. Will I get through all this? Probably not. But it's a nice thought. <laughs> it will be fine. It will be fine. Let me show you the books because I'm very excited about the books. There were a lot of review articles that my supervisor suggested and I noticed that they were all from 2007 and then I realized, oh, it's a special issue. And then I thought, I've never bought a special issue paper and it's a lot of paper to print, so might as well buy the book because that's nicer. So this is the book, Exploring Venus as a Terrestrial Planet from 2007 and basically it's, it's just printed research articles. This is the book called Planet atmospheres which I think is a textbook and has also exercises which is great because last time I learned anything about the atmosphere was in 2011 so I need a very basic introduction <laughs> and then as fun reading by the same author as planetary atmospheres we have the scientific exploration of Venus which gives you the chronological exploration of Venus and the different missions and how they contributed and also lots of insights into you know what are the outstanding questions etc etc this is going to be a, like casual reading well not that casual but I think this will be a nice way to start reading so maybe I'll start with a chapter in this book every day or something it's a lot to read I'm um, not entirely sure if this is the best course of action, but you know, you need to start somewhere. Feels very strange to start a new job like this. Vielleicht muss ich Deutsch sprechen, weil ich in Berlin bin. Aber vielleicht, das ist weird. So I'm doing great. <laughs> I'll just start reading. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> So I tweeted the postdoc in the bedroom video because I think it's funny and also because I wanted to kind of hype up the fact that I started that DLR even though it doesn't feel like I started that DLR and then the official Twitter account of DLR said a very warm welcome and this has been my interaction today with DLR. <laughs> that is the proof that I work there. Even though that's no proof at all. I don't even have a contract yet. I am enjoying myself, but I'm also just just flabbergasted about how weird it is. Like, I haven't talked to anyone yet today. No. Anyway, gonna read Esposito. That's a stupid joke. <laughs> Update. I got pinged to isolate, which kind of changed my perspective. Like it's it's never that fun. Secondly, I had a meeting with my new supervisor. Very exciting. She had a lot of ideas of what I should start with and what I should do and I'm also excited to do that. I also have a lot of stuff to read because I don't know much about this topic. So panic has set in. Yeah, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this, but I'm just going to pretend as if I know what I'm doing. As in, you know, I, 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 this is my second postdoc. I know a a little bit about how to approach projects, right? I'm just gonna do it the way I want it, the way I think makes sense. Try and minimize panic, seems like a good strategy. The weirdest thing that I'm kind of running into is that it is very strange to start working remotely. I know the names of two people in the research group. First names? I need to figure out Jupyter notebooks. Is that the same as Python notebooks? See, I don't know anything. This is why I want to have an office mate, even if they don't know, we can laugh about both not knowing it. Anyway, the good news is I ordered groceries, so I won't starve to death. Yeah, 
there is a group meeting on Thursday so I think I will meet some people then but it's Monday now so really feeling the postdoc in the bedroom postdoc in the bedroom postdoc in the bedroom missing deadlines is there a sadder sight second day of reading about Venus imposter syndrome is slowly building up tasks to do are very rapidly building up how is it only the second day maybe I'm just not cut out for this so what a fabulous start to a new job <laughs> all the insecurities are back can't imagine this being a very fun vlog My own, pretending there's a calling all alone I work on this till morning day three of the new job and isolation another day in isolation it is not great I may or may not have slightly underestimated how fun it would be to start remotely then again it was the best option so you know and after all with it I will say Venus is still very cool all my other projects are catching up with me which make me feel a bit stressed out I wish I could sing one day more but it's it's six days more six days more six more days till my own freedom six more days till I go out I just need to vent my frustration because I'm reading this book, The Scientific Exploration of Venus, and it's very interesting and I'm learning a lot about Venus and, you know, I don't know anything about Venus, I thought, but this book, written by one of the main people who knows about Venus, like he has written a lot of the books and papers that I have that I want to get through, he is constantly talking about a molten liquid mantle, but the mantle isn't liquid. Not on Earth, not on Venus. There is a big difference between a mantle that is solid on Earth and on Venus probably, that moves and behaves like a liquid on geological time scales and actual liquid rock, you know, magma, that is very very different and it, it continuously talks about that it's molten and it's liquid and the crust is floating on top of the molten mantle and it's rock. I just wonder how this has been published and then it also makes me wonder what else is wrong that I don't know enough about, like all the isotopes and all the technical space stuff, like it's just bad, it's just just bad it's very very wrong you know either I'm incredibly stupid and the mantle of Venus is liquid and there is a small possibility that I am incredibly stupid but on the whole I do think the mantle is a solid maybe this is a sign I should move on to some more recent papers and literature that are in fact peer-reviewed okay so the rant is over still very annoyed but whatever I do think that the author probably knows most about the atmosphere of Venus I think it's very clear from how he writes that he is not a solid earth solid Venus solid planet person and I don't know much about the atmosphere and that is what we know about most on Venus apparently this is the impression that I'm getting so it is quite good in that respect also almost all of the surface features on Venus apart from three things alpha and beta regio which were just like numbered because in the beginning everything was just alpha beta gamma etc and Maxwell Montes which was named after a guy apart from those early mistakes every surface feature on Venus is named after women and they can be actual women that lived on earth or classical mythological Greek Norse mythology it can be anyone as long as it's a woman and one thing that I do appreciate about this book is that whenever a feature is named so they'll be like oh this is the Diana Kasma. it explains why she was important for example the largest impact crater on Venus is called Mead which is named for the anthropologist Margaret Mead who lived from 1901 to 1978 who according to Wikipedia, according to this book, was a champion of broadened sexual morals within a context of traditional Western religious life. So apart from learning about Venus, I am also learning a lot about important women in history, which is something I greatly enjoy. Nice. Venus is the, the best planet. I'm taking back control. <laughs>
Oh, so it's very awkward to start a position remotely and you don't know anyone and I'm always awkward when I start a new position because I don't know anybody and I find that very, very terrifying. But <laughs> I bit the bullet, I sent emails to all of my colleagues whom I don't know asking for individual Zoom chats. Duh, is that awkward? Oh, <laughs> maybe. Hopefully in a week I will have actually met them, like I've seen them on the group meeting now but I mean I know what they're researching barely because I don't really understand all of the things they're doing it sounds very impressive but I I mean I don't even know their last name in some cases I don't know where they're from what their hobbies are there is no personal connection I have no idea and it terrifies me because it's I, <laughs> I don't know anyone and I want to feel good in this new environment. I wanna, I wanna work somewhere where I enjoy working and uh, people are a big part of that for me. So I send a lot of awkward emails and I just got a first response saying that he would love to meet. And I am absolutely stoked about that. I'm very happy. Mission Integrate in New Workplace has officially started. I'm just gonna be very awkward for the next couple of weeks and then hopefully I'll get to know people I don't know <laughs> it's so weird everything is so weird <gasps> oh but it has a lot of potential <laughs> what? it's not even late I'm just going to continue with reading things that are probably not actually relevant at all but who bloody cares this is what I want to read and I think it's important and I am getting lots of ideas so I guess that's good <laughs> 